The smart cell structure provides a stable surface supported by unstable rubber cells that adjust dynamically to varying types of impacts, forces, and static loads. There are different engineered variations depending on what they're used for. Maximum fatigue reduction or protecting from fall related injuries. Current research literature indicates that there is an optimal range of compressibility called the modulus of elasticity with a pressure reading of between 0.6 and 0.9 megapascals. Now we have designed to this range giving smart cells a stable, optimal functionality. Most foam and gel fall well outside of this range and are significantly too soft. This is a piece of foam. If your selection criteria is, I want something soft, consider that foam gets harder as it's compressed and gel just squishes out of the way. Smart cells are designed so that the greater the pressure, the softer they become. Just the opposite of foam. To make up for the fact that foam gets harder as it's compressed and as it breaks down, foam products are often marketed as the thickest, the plushest, the most buoyant mats. These ridiculous claims prey on consumers' lack of knowledge about optimized anti-fatigue surfaces. Thick, overly soft mats add to fatigue, just as standing on a mattress would. Referred to as the densification strain, the relationship between the height of a material and its compressibility is expressed this way. If a material compresses more than 50% of its height, it tends to act as though it is bottomed out. Even though foam may feel soft with a little pressure, it easily acts and feels like it is bottomed out. Another critical element is responsiveness. Individual smart cells get softer without bottoming out, then dynamically rebound, returning energy like a spring. Foam tends to be much less responsive and is often described as stepping out of sand. Smart cells combine compressibility, correct height, softness, and responsiveness to create the optimized standing surface to relieve fatigue and injuries and increase productivity.